applying the Retentis PH25. This retractor is recommended for BMIs from 30 to 50. Benefits of using the retractor are that it fully exposes the surgical site. You will achieve retraction from 90 to 130 plus degrees. The retractor will remain secure throughout the procedure. It applies and removes quickly. The retractor is self-supporting, that is, it is hands-free and therefore frees up personnel. Retentis conforms to any body shape or anatomy, and it's sterile. The objective of the Retentis retractor is to hold the panis securely away from the surgical site, thereby reducing the volume of tissue between the uterus and the incision while properly aligning surgical planes. On the next slide, you will observe the scrub tech with the surgeon who are being assisted by the anesthesiologist or a third person at the patient's head. Three people are usually required to apply the device correctly. The third person at the head of the patient will manually retract the panis. Remove the A tab. Affix the edge of the retractor 5 centimeters above the incision. The adhesive is pressure sensitive. Now remove the B panels and apply to the patient, smoothing midline to hip. The person at the patient's head should release the panis to fall back to its natural position. Retrograde the device. Now holding the retractor in tension, remove panel C. The person at the head of the patient will hold the top of the device above the patient at a 45 degree angle, while the scrub and the surgeon each grasp one of the hold here tabs. Pulling up and stretching, affix at the xiphoid, apply the device to the patient smoothing down over the skin. We've just completed the retraction of the panis in approximately 40 seconds. To remove, simply grasp one of the hold tabs, support the skin, and peel away the retractor. BMIs greater than 50 may require the use of the retentis extender in conjunction with the pH 25 to achieve optimal retraction. Use the extender to expand the anchor point. The combination of the two devices will yield optimal exposure to the surgical site on BMIs over 50. Remove tab A. Apply midline near the xiphoid under the patient's breasts. Smooth onto the skin. Now remove panel B. And smooth down the patient's skin toward the umbilicus. The extender is now in position to accept the pH 25. Holding the retractor in tension, remove the A tab. Affix the edge of the retractor 5 centimeters above the incision. Now remove the B panels and apply to the patient, smoothing from midline to the hip. The person at the patient's head can release the panis to fall back to its natural position. Retrograde the device. Holding the device in tension, remove the C panel. The person at the head of the patient holds the top of the device while the scrub and surgeon each grasp a hold tab. Together they pull and stretch the device to affix to the extender and smooth down over the patient's skin. It just took about two minutes to achieve an optimal retraction on a very large BMI patient that maintains the integrity of the sterile field. It's secure, one that you can have confidence won't slip or release during your procedure, and is very kind and gentle on the skin. Equally important, it is comfortable and does not cause undue embarrassment to your patient.
again. To remove the device, grasp any exposed tab and slowly peel the film from the patient while supporting the skin in the process. As this is a single-use only device, please discard appropriately.